Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to find by element by using Android UI automator. See, basically in our previous video, we saw about class uh, finding and uh, by using for inspector, we are going to find by class name and X path and all right. Now in this video, I'm going to show you for different format that is called UI automator. If you see that UI Automator having so many functionalities, if you come to that web driver IO selectors, in this page, you can able to see all kind of actions, what all the things are presented, that all the functionality you can able to find here. Okay, if you click for H1 to subscription here like this, and you can able to get for all the attributes and all. If you come to down, you can able to, this is a CS selector, query selector, and link test one. And this is a partial link text, how we can able to take that. Okay, partial link star and equal to and partial uh, link text we can able to use for by taking for equal. And also environment like a contains text if you can take this format. Okay, and if you come that a little bit down and this is called mobile sections what are the things mobile section can have that hybrid and negative apps all the things you can able to find it here there are they are provide some set of documentations provided here you can able to see right ui selector classes automator apa ui automator apa if you click here they can give some documentation related that ui documentation some are related things and if you click for ui selector if you click the US selector, this is the one, the same one I opened. I'll provide that entire information to the description. You can able to go and find it. Or else you can search in the Google WebDriver IO UI Automator. UI Automator. Then you can able to find this particular link. And then you need to come down and you can able to see this particular session. And here they are provide some set of information like how we can able to take that uh, entire Thing. This is called Android and this is a iOS related stuff. How we can able to take for iOS and this is called UI Automator. And you can able to go for this is the format. I'll copy maybe it is a very small. And here you can able to see UI selector a new your selector dot text and you can able to provide the which one you want to say and if you want uh, some class name you have to provide you can able to provide and you can able to select by easily okay and if you want to click if you, you can able to do it by using android is a path okay how we can able to find this one and how we can able to do it okay a simple program i can able to go ahead and create here UI auto dot js. Okay, this is my class, and I'm going to copy this code because I'm going to use for existing script to run. Okay, now here we are used. I'll remove this all the things. First, we'll click something, and then later we'll see for something. Okay. And this is the easiest way. Okay. Now, and here you can able to see here in this location, right? Selector location. If you come down, it they are provided by using UI selector. What are the methods we can able to use it? They are completely provided for summary here. Method we can able to checkable. The setting the search criteria matching widget will be checkable or not. It means something which is a checkbox is there whether we can able to check that particular checkbox we can able to checked or not means it is a disable or not it checked whether it is already checked or not child selectors and class name by using class name also we can able to take it up class name matches if the class name we are providing for very less and we need to find it we can able to find clickable that particular button or something whether we are able to clickable or not the description wise also we can able to take it description contains if you want to do some assertions with the description we can able to do it and enabled a focused we need to put the text box or something we need to make it for some 
uh, focused right to click that particular one that we can able to do it and index positions and the long clickable and page pay, uh, package names okay resource id by taking the resource id we can able to scrollable selected text text contains if you see the example here they provided for text okay same thing you can able to see text this is the one they are used and we are going to use for text contains okay text matches uh, text starts with two string this all the methods they are provided for all the us selected we can able to use all the things and we can able to develop our automation script by easily okay and this now this particular text contains how we can able to use it to click for this particular Chrome. And this is the emulator. In this emulator, this particular Chrome app, I need to click, I need to open this particular one. How we can able to open. Okay, now I'm going to do it here. And I can write it here, one particular statement that is a dollar and then i'm going to use it for single quotation and now i'm going to make it for android you have to provide a proper name if you provide wrong name then it will throw some exceptions okay uh, that whether your searching element is not presented like that ui selector ui selector u is a capital i is a small S is a capital. If you see here as well, you can able to copy the entire syntax and try it. Okay. And US selector and colon dot text contains and what text contains for us? Chrome. Okay, now my Chrome is presented. If it is Chrome is presented, then wait and click. Even you can able to without saving some element, directly we can able to click. If you want, you can able to save and click the particular Chrome box. Okay, this is the one thing. And if I want to run now, npx wdio run dot slash wdio.config.js iphone iphone spec and we need to provide the which location on the, our path is presented that path and ui auto matter.js okay now i enter this one now i am opening for my wizard as well once entire script is loaded we can able to see here chrome now my Chrome is not opened. Okay, now after this program is started, we can able to see Chrome will be clicked. Now you UI automator emulator is started to connect. Now my server is trying to connect. Now loaded. Now Chrome is searching. Now it will be clicked. Now now we can see clicked. My test case got passed. Now, if you go little bit up, now you can see this is my UI automator path, which I passed it here. This is a my UI automator path. Okay. Then this is the usage is Android UI automator. By using that, I'm going to find for my Chrome browser by using the text contains. Okay. That's why I can able to click it for my Chrome browser. <coughs> in a emulator if i want to click here by using that we can able to click we have already some path already existing one by using this this is the class xpath and all provided right and resource id this is my resource id right this entire thing is resource id and if i go here ui selector there is a ui resource id this is a resource id we can able to replace here here we can able to replace contains location we can able to replace for 
resource ID and we can pass the resource ID and we can able to click that particular element. Okay, if you want to click, we can able to click get the text, we can able to get the text. Like this, we can able to do it. Please go through that one by one, uh, entire one. What are the things you can able to try? You can try and the scroll and remaining things I'll explain you in later video sessions. Okay, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.